G'day guys, Sporkfist here. This is the first in a series of videos covering the basic rifleman qualification. In this subsection, we'll be discussing the Rifling Matters company composition. Rifling Matters is not a milsim group, but we do use a specialized structure to maintain order on the battlefield and ensure that everyone's being effective while having fun. This is a standard infantry section. It consists of eight men. The section leader, or seco, commands the entire section, which is usually broken up into two separate fire teams, usually designated by color. The seco answers directly to the platoon commander and also acts as a fire team leader for the first fire team. The second fire team is commanded by a fire team leader, or FTL, who answers directly to the section leader. The fire teams themselves are typically made up of an automatic rifleman, or AR, who provides accurate and sustained suppressive fire, an assistant automatic rifleman who spots for the AR and carries his ammo, and a rifleman who can be modular, sometimes carrying a light anti-tank or a grenade launcher. The rifleman is usually the go-to person to pick up weapons from fallen comrades or man gunner slots in vehicles. This section is part of a larger force. Your typical section usually makes up a platoon of three. Alpha, Bravo and Charlie sections. However, a Delta section is sometimes used as a maneuver support team. Delta is different in that it's made up of three fire teams as opposed to two. They are typically given heavier weapons and used as a specialist base of fire team covering a platoon's advance. All sections follow a general chain of command in a single mission. In a section, the fire team leader is expected to take over from the section leader if the section leader is incapacitated. The platoon also follows a chain of command. The platoon commander is the most senior, followed by the platoon sergeant, followed by the alpha section leader, then Bravo, Charlie, and then finally Delta. The platoon command section consists of the platoon commander, the platoon sergeant, who acts as a general assistant, the forward air controller, or FAC, who talks to air assets and coordinates CAS, a medic, and a standard rifleman for security. Not all of these roles will be used in every mission, but the platoon commander and medic are absolutely vital. Each platoon is either designated by the call sign 1-1 or 1-2. They are commanded by the 1-0 company commander, or COI, who is responsible for the overall strategic movements of the platoons. He also directly commands any logistics assets. This role is only ever really used depending on the complexity of the mission. For relatively basic missions, overall command is given to 1-1 platoon commander, who commands his platoon and gives general directions to 1-2. In summation, we have a COI commander, 1-0, controlling both platoons who are designated 1-1 and 1-2. They then consist of infantry sections designated Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and Delta. This concludes part one of basic training.